Hello YouTube. Wanted to make a short video for any of you who might be having brake pedal softness issues with your uh, mid 90s Ford uh, F Series. This right here is F350. I've had this problem on three different trucks and just wanted to make a short video in case any of you are, ha are having the same problem. The symptoms are spongy brake pedal and you bleed the brakes, still spongy. Uh, adjust the rear shoes, still spongy. Replace the master cylinder, still spongy. Um, it's exactly what I did. Uh, the problem is the ABS modulator down on the frame. And the problem with replacing that is the uh, remanufactured ones at the dealer. I, I have a, a commercial account at our local Ford dealer. My cost on it is like 450 bucks and I believe retail is like 680 It's It's ridiculous. Um, and I recently picked up this nice old uh, 90 F350. Had that same problem. And so I went looking to see if I could find one, uh, you know, on uh, like Rock Auto, eBay, and also priced out my local dealer. I do not recommend buying aftermarket like a Cardone or a Dorman. I recommend using the Ford factory remanufactured ABS modulator and uh, I found mine on eBay. It was actually designed for a Ford van but the only difference is the one for the Ford van had a little bracket on it that made it so it can install a little differently but if you take that bracket off the actual unit is exactly the same. From my experience they have an older modulator for the earlier 90s and then I believe 93 and newer is a newer plug. You've got the older style plug and the newer style plug and that's really the only difference. Um, and I, like I said, I found mine on eBay. I believe it was 110 bucks. It was a fantastic deal when you consider uh, what the dealer wanted. So I'm going to have my son hand me the camera and I'll show you what it is. I'll flip it around here. Oh, um, if any of you are not familiar with this, up under the frame, it's right there on the driver's side frame rail inside. And let me get around here a little bit. And here's the plug right here. You unclip that from the frame, unplug it. And this plug goes into the modulator unit. Get it up a little better. There we go. Um, and it unbolts from the frame on the outside. I'll just put the camera right there. Those are the bolts. Three bolts right there. And then I believe there's four brake lines. Be re really careful that you don't screw up your threads. Take your time. Use some tri-flow or blaster. And uh, remove that puppy. Replace it. There's also a bleeder valve right here on the modulator. As you can see right there. That bleeder valve needs to be bled. And so what I recommend is bleed this. And when I changed mine, uh, there was quite a bit of air that came out of it. You could tell it was obvious it was full of air. So when I put the new one in, so bleed that modulator unit, and then go through and bleed your brakes, adjust your rear shoes, and you'll have tight brake pedal. That softness will be gone, and it works awesome. Don't take it to the repair shop. Don't replace your master cylinder, all that stuff. Buy one of those ABS modulators, and uh, you should be good. That's the culprit right there. Okay, let me crawl out of here. And I just wanted to show off my find. 1200 bucks. It's a 90 F350. Original cabin chassis with a flatbed. It's the 11.5 GVW, the heavy axle. Has the high pinion Dana 60 front end with the king pins. 
thing sweet. 1200 bucks. So, scored a really good deal. Had to do a little bit of uh, body work on the door. That door, each door has been repainted. And, uh, um, put some stiffeners in inside the door panel because the mirror brackets were starting to crack the sheet metal and fixed all that had it repainted and I just painted the bed and putting some new uh, wood decking down I'm gonna have a nice flat bed 1200 bucks is a super good deal so anyway just wanted to make a short video if any of you are having spongy F350 brake problems ABS modulator. Have a good day.